going to be starting up in just a second, chat. Few things still not working. We can go without them for now, though. Gonna be starting in just a bit. Hand test. Hands are working. Voice is working. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Lost Time. We are continuing our adventures in Deus Ex Human Revolution tonight. How y'all doing? I recently purchased DNF Duel. I was kind of back and forth on whether I was going to or not. So far, the game seems decent, but it's fairly simplified as compared to Strive. I doubt I'm going to let it be my replacement game anytime soon, honestly. It's alright, but just alright. I only got about two hours in the game so far, so... I got plenty of time to refund it if I feel the need, but at the moment, uh, I'll give it a little bit, see how it is after a few patches. <laughs> hey, Vimboy. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, as always. Let me just adjust my mic here, so I'm talking directly into it, as opposed to away from it. I don't really... Well, I might need to move it out of the way anyway, so that there's better hand tracking, but... Corona Extra. Let us go ahead and power up Deus Ex. And we'll get started right now. Ten percent should be good.
Hey, Millie. I'm doing all right. How are you tonight? Still can't believe it's a three-day weekend, but I'm going to try and enjoy it to my best. Um, I was just telling Chad how I picked up the I picked up uh, DNF Duel. See what it's like. So far, it's pretty pricey for 50 bucks. I feel like it's worth closer to 20 or 30. It's fairly fun, but I'm not sure about the longevity, and it's full of bugs, like nobody's business. Oh my god, hang in there. A bit tired. No, that's a mood. I'm pretty. I'm a little bit tired myself. Hopefully, not too tired that I'm not able to play though. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Everything is yellow filtered. This is the real Deus Ex. I saw Enchantress and wanted to try DNF because reasons, but yeah, it's pretty pricey for what it is. Yeah. And I mean, I had fun during the first two hours I played it, but I still can't help but feel like $50 was a bit much. It's very dumbed down compared to Strive, for one thing. Uh, just uh, gameplay wise. Very dumbed down. It's definitely what I would consider a Babby's first fighting game, at the very least. Uh, I can teach you some basic fundamentals, I feel like, for other game, for other fighting games, but... Thanks for at least talking to me. Most people just walk on by like I'm invisible. They've made it practically illegal to be poor in this city. Dang. The social commentary is real, am I right? No code for this. Need capture rating three. We're probably going to. We're probably going to uh, max out hacking first, so I can get into as so I can hack into as many secure locations as I can. In this game. You watched the hockey game last night. Wings against the Habs. What a massacre. What a massacre. What a massacre, chat. Electric vehicle charging station. I didn't even realize that was here. I didn't know you could search the trash cans or stuff either. It almost feels like I'm playing this game for the first time again, but then again, I haven't played this game forever, so it might as well, might as well, well be, right? With fresher, older eyes, I can perhaps do what my predecessor failed to do, which is to say, actually beat this game. Why did you do it? You were beautiful just the way you were. Look, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> you're not one to take a hit, are you? Hey, stop bothering me! Man, you're a prick. Hostages rescued. Just like good old uh, Deus Ex or previous Deus Ex games, what you do in this game directly gets reflected in the game, in the game world. Money troubles. Police gave beat advice in firing. New DIA. Picus Daily Standard. Detroit Sun Times, I think, is a real newspaper, actually. What's it say here? Doom Calloway. This city is afraid of me. I've seen its true face. I know I already made that joke once, but I shall make it again and again until it's funny again. I legit don't remember everything where anything is now. As long as long as it's been since I last played. So now, remember the quest, they said that there's an apartment building here behind the gas station where I can meet uh the guy is saved for some free stuff. There's also a there's also a smuggler that lives back here. 
Now, this dude, I got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Right at your fingertips. Let's sell some garbage first. Um, hmm. Yeah, actually, the game gave, went ahead and gave me a whole bunch of money because of the DLCs. I kind of wish there's they had included a way for you to toggle those on and off because... Be sure to tell all your friends. It's just not the cops. <laughs> Because for obvious reasons, it does cause some it cause me some issues. For one thing, there's no room in my inventory because I'm carrying the sniper rifle and a double barrel shotgun. For another, this kind of gives me an unfair advantage. I could just buy all the praxis kits I find in the sh in the uh, clinic. I can just buy a lot of junk, actually. I guess what I could do is try to play the is just is sell my sniper rifle and my double barrel shotgun and attempt to play the game without them as the game was meant to be played <laughs> but i can't do anything about the credits so that's not entirely the best thing to do either eat one of these power up both my energy bars or so what'll it be I'm really tempted to sell my double barrel shotgun and my science sniper rifle and replace it with everything else, honestly. Brought some machine pistol ammo with me so I could sell that because I'm not going to be using machine pistol this run. I do like revolvers and regular pistols though, and also the tranquilizer. I kind of want to keep the sniper rifle and the explosives though because what I'm going to be using them on are the places, are the sections of the game that you really can't or it's not a good idea to try and get through pacifist run because they are such bullshit. Damage upgrade. This is for upgrading weapons. Get yourself a nice shot, a uh, regular shotgun here for 1,500. Mine template for making mines and automated unlocking device for uh, automatically unlocking stuff if you don't have a lockpick. This is actually fairly useful. And I think they only sells four of them. So I wouldn't mind buying some of these to bullshit my way through some parts of the game. Because what else am I going to spend that money on? Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So right now, I dumped my pistol earlier to make room for this stuff here. Got some painkillers. I really wish I could, like, store my items somewhere that'd be nice I don't remember if you I'm pretty sure you can't do that in this game which makes me wonder you can drop the stuff in the ground will it stay there between map changes is my is what I'm wondering now what I think I might do is head up to my apartment and try dumping some of my excess stuff there and then leaving it and doing a map change and then coming back and seeing if it's still there. If it is, good for me. That solves a huge problem. And I'll just have to remember to not leave the map for a different mission before getting all my crap back. So, it, because it will not respawn. Should I buy all the AUDs? Or should I just find lockpicks? Hmm. Let's see what the uh, factory manager is going to give us first instead. I ain't no guinea pig. Ain't no way I was getting off just to keep my job. I ain't no guinea pig. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those art lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Where he at these days? Yo, where you been, man? You been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh, word? I wanted to get some upgrades from my Zenith 10 mil. He can hook you up nice, man. If you go, tell him I sent you. I want a discount next time. Word. This must be the front entrance to the apartment. Rather not go in through there. You always 
always incentivized to find ways around the obvious entrance because it'll give you more experience. Cyber paws, augmentation. That joke, that joke never gets old. Dog mentation chat. It's the future. Fight the power. This city is one big gutter and always will. You think this is bad? <laughs> Wait till you went past that list of places. Before it's gonna be one giant rampage. I've been saying. It's Every probably not wrong. We split it into the halves and half not. <laughs> Damn right. I've been living for ten years. Don't I got the right to get in hand? No. Dude, even if I did. But how the hell am I gonna afford that truck? Near a pump machine. Nero Nero Papazine. I can't pronounce that name either. I should probably invest in an Icarus landing system too so I don't die from falling. That's later though. Now then, where did he say he was? Actually, I wonder if I can jump over there. Pretty sure this will end poorly with my death, in fact. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but we'll try it. Got to do a running start. Got to find a way to... Oh, shit. Uh, well, chat, um, you just saw me fuck up big time. So, yeah, I could not make that. I would definitely need additional augs of some kind, but I did make it to this side of the building. Not sure what benefits this will bring us, but the fact that we can do this um, gives me an idea. wonder how... Hmm. Could we use this? Nah, probably not. Oh, shit! Well, that's it, chat. That's the game. That's the stream. We're done. We're done here. I'm kidding. That was pretty bad, though. I forgot how tricky this game can be sometimes. When it comes to stuff like that. Alright. Hey, Winter. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream, as always. It's been so long since I last played this game that I don't know where anything is, so I'm just kind of exploring downtown Detroit right now. The real-life Detroit is not exactly this bad, but it is pretty close in some ways. A lot of the things that you see in this game are fairly similar to how they are in real life, just as far as the poverty is concerned. Cyber pause. Dogmentation. Dogmentation. Yep, FPS. That's what Deus Ex is at the end of the day, an FPS game. We've successfully got inside the house. Or the apartment, I should say. Why are we here? Uh, just to suffer? No. There's uh, someone I need to meet that I want to meet. I don't even know where this, where this door leads to, actually. Because what we are checking here... I don't have a quest on right now, but basically, uh, the mother of my girlfriend in the game wants me to help figure out whatever actually what actually happened to. Oh, this is nuts. Never mind. Hmm. 
Here it is. The mom of my uh, girlfriend slash fiance wants me to investigate her death. And we're, she wants me to go to the limb clinic. I need to go there anyway to buy some Praxis kits. I need to find Tyndall's apartment building and um, talk to someone named Brian Tyndall to convince him to stop blackmailing a coworker. Greg Thorpe wants to, wants me to thank wants to thank me for helping him out. So he lives on the third floor of an apartment building that's located near the Second Street gas station. So fairly simple stuff so far. Investigating the suicide terrorists. I need to do these things too. These can wait. We always want to do the side missions first in this. Which in this case are highlighted by the green marks. Because I like snooping around and because I'm here anyway. I'm going to go ahead and hack into this person's house and see if there's anything that can help us in our journey. In real life, we call this... Uh, is this eminent domain? This is not eminent domain. A search and seizure? It's not search and seizure. It's, um... There's actually a name for it. Where police actually get, have come up with bullshit reason to raid your house and take your possessions. Um, that's not exactly what we're doing here, but, you know, greater good and all that, right? So in order to beat this hacking game, it's, if I'm lucky, maybe I can also grab these two devices here. We'll need to click these things very quickly. Or I need to get lucky and I can detect it so quickly. But as you can see here, capture detection is 70%. That's fucking terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, we're not gonna make a chat. It's gonna be close. Hacking attempt has failed. Yeah, so... We are not in fact strong enough to hack this just yet. And we're locked out for the next 20 seconds or so. I'll probably return here later when I put more skill points into hacking so it doesn't happen as often. So I'm not going to wait around for 20 seconds. Fuck that. We got stuff to do. Let's see now. That's the entrance I came in. Also, I figured out why it was that sprinting is a toggle. It's because in Deus Ex, sprinting is uh, controlled by your energy gauge. You can't sprint by default. This is actually the running speed. You have to push control to walk. And I also just knocked it over. Now, I'm curious, why is there an exit sign here, but there's no way to get down from here? Furthermore, who designed this apartment building? Because there's no way down to the ground floor, unless I missed it somewhere. It might be... I'm assuming it's behind there, and you're just not allowed to access it. Let's move these boxes of the way, just make sure to see... If there is any, see if there's any secrets in the way. There apparently are not. This is hackable again. We're going to try it one more time. We'll see how lucky we are this time. I'm pretty sure we're not going to make it, but we will attempt. Access denied. Yep, thought so. Got kicked out again. It looks like there's not enough time to grab all the free stuff and also successfully hack the door. It's either one or the other. This one is not even openable. You can't move this garbage out of the way. I don't see an obvious fire escape around here or a place we can go, so it's probably not there. 
I'm gonna kill myself if I fall over here. Wanted. I'm a stubborn ox. Maybe I don't need these things, and maybe I can just go all the way here. You know what? It might actually not be possible. Access denied. Yeah, there's literally... I'm not literally not fast enough to hack that right now, it seems. Alright. Then in that case, we will leave this area since it's quite... It's probably not leading to my destination, right? But you never know. You gotta be careful with that. How do we get out of here now? Shit. Um, that's the exit down there. Here's a ladder. I can't run fast enough to get onto that side yet. So unfortunately, we'll need to make our way back down. We'll try a different catwalk. This city is one big gutter and always will. We built this city. We built this city and rock and roll. We built this city. I do not have any. Uh, I do not have any upper body strength. I cannot jump up there. Damn right. I've been limping for ten years. Don't I got the right to get in hand? Let's go up here then. <laughs> You're vibing today. Glad to hear it. Feel free to to chill and vibe. Oh look, there is a uh, free stop worm there. That will be very useful. What is it doing over here on this window ledge? Who knows? Could even go through this window, actually. Go through here. So that's not too bad. Sure is musty here. Gives you the impression that no one's been up here in a while. These two gangbangers don't seem all that concerned. I just kind of waltz into their apartment. Them G Rope cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh, yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP 18 from Surat. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Surat carried those. Double T cut him a break on his rent, so he brought some in just for us. Turns out apartments in this dump ain't exactly cheap. Yeah, they're fairly expensive, all things That's considered. Far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. These gangbangers, however, are going to ask you nicely to leave the first time. They will not ask again. If I really wanted to fuck around, I could actually sneak over there, take out this guy, and take out the other guy, but let's explore the rest of this apartment first. There's a little bit of stra a strange bit of slowdown just then. I wonder what's going on there. Looks like my processor is running at next to full. Oh, that's weird. I wonder what's up with that. Otherwise, it's doing a fairly good job. A uh, good job of running my VTuber equipment and also this game. That guy is also a gangbanger, obviously. Something tells me we've entered the wrong apartment complex. The guy you want to deal with is over there. The guy you don't want to deal with is standing in front of you. Ah, oh, this must be Surat. You wanna buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? I don't remember this guy being here, though. Strange. I must have missed him the first time, or didn't bother checking it out. Sold. What we got here? A silencer. Very nice. Stun gun and a machine pistol. Don't really need a machine pistol though. And he also sells remote detonate explosive devices for 200, and he has two of them. So, very, very useful.
Ooh la la. Oh shit. They did not appreciate me entering their home. I will now quietly leave the area. I can't believe that just happened, actually. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, chat. It, as it turns out, in this game, NPCs do react if you start rooting around their apartment for no reason. Or if you start, you know, hacking into random civilians' apartments for no reason. But the greater good and all that good stuff, right? Access granted. Very nice. I got a nuke virus. And managed to open up this door here. Looks like no one's been home in a while. Lots of blue grail ears. A lot of big boxes here, stacked up all over the place. Nothing of import over here, though. Some laptops, an ebook. We'll read this later. Extended mag. Some garbage, some, uh, sincere desire to stand in a front television. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't want to listen to Eliza to consent to Eliza and whatever faces. Why is not letting me turn off the radio? So annoying. Let's go ahead and hack into this computer system to see what we can find out. Oh! Good googly moogly, this is not going to go well. Well, we might actually be able to make it. Let's see. Let's try. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Cool. I just remembered how to play the hacking minigame, after all. Access granted. Urgent response needed. Eh, I don't need that. Truth about Philip, Riley Mead. Please read and pass on. For God's sake, Laura, please just stop sending me those stupid emails of yours before I wind up on a watch list or something. You know I don't care about your crazy theories anyway. Zubin and I are working things out, and the last goddamn thing we need is for the police to show up at his office again before because of you. If you can't write to me about normal things, don't write at all, Penny. You can't hi hide your head in the sand forever, you know. Remember, all that's needed for evil to charm in this world is for good people to look away and do nothing. Laura, you gotta get off the computer and get yourself a real hobby. You're asking me to trust a few paranoid kooks leaving the parents' basement over to investigate reporting done by every member of the press. Who do you honestly think is more trustworthy? Greer is innocent. He was framed by the Me campaign to ruin his reputation. They want him out of the running. So me can take the next election. The website presents the true facts behind all the lies. Ms. Vale, once again, your questions and insinuations are both ill-founded and inflammatory. You have been officially advised about this in the past. Sadly, I must inform you that an official harassment complaint has been filed. If you do not alter your current behavior, I'm afraid we will be forced to settle this matter on the courts. Why is the NSA... Defcon alert. That's weird. So, if she is. Ooh, hoo, hoo. What do we have here? National security, miss. Sorry, I must root, root around your apartment. We can't hack this one because we are capture level 3. We'll need to come back later. If I remember to.
And that's glitched. One second. Okay. Come on. Show the prompt. Show the prompt. I know you can do it. Ah. Uh. So we need to come back level later when we have level 3. To even access that. Looks like there's not, not much in her room. Otherwise. I wonder if she was picked up by the NSA because she's not here right now. Kind of spooky that the NSA was watching her do these investigations. Not very different from what I'm doing, I suppose. Rooting around her personal belongings and all that. Let's explore upwards first. And then we'll gradually make our way downstairs. Alright, so these are the gangbangers from earlier. Yeah. Let's go downstairs then. All the way down. Can't go any further than this because of all this garbage here. And we can't climb over the fence either. Looks like the trails run cold. Or has it? No. I still got a lot of shots after all. And if I play this right, should be fine. Gonna sell the machine pistols back to the guy downstairs for some profit. What you got on you? Machine pistol ammo? A pocket secretary? What's the pocket secretary say? In signing your lease, you agree to all the following conditions. Rent payable the first of every month, no, del no delayed payment without permission of management. No arrangements made after that time. The bedroom door code is 3733. Do not change it. The management needs to know a certain number at all times for security reasons. That's not sketchy at all. Not at all, chat. Who else is in here anyway? This doesn't concern you. Come on! Come on! Easy as pie. Stealing your credits as well. This guy's augmented also, so I don't understand why... He referred to me as an AUG like that. It's a 10 millimeter pistol. Is there anyone even in here? We're about to find out. There must be someone in here. Another credit chip. Gonna hack this boy. Our 
Is there a pocket secretary just sitting around? There's another pistol. Got to look around for all these things everywhere. Nothing over here. Some lockers in the background. Concussion grenade. Very useful. And a shit ton of darts. Oh my god. Huh. Looks like this was worth it. What do we got on your computer here? Whew. This one's a doozy. Got some stopworms and got some nukes. Twenty-four seconds. We might be able to make it. I fucked up. It's gonna be close. Access granted. Made it just in the nick of time. Point nineteen seconds. Damn. Now we stay the fuck away from the ballers until we find out more about what kind of wants they have. You hear there's a process of limb? Sure to be some balls there. Maybe we should join the party. Hey, we're almost out of NPC here, cuz. Your boy Tyndall isn't holding on to us, is he? I know we Elo. Tyndall always come through before he come through now. Stop worrying about my shit and let me handle it. Hmm. Interesting. Really wish we could just sell their pistols. Buyers can't be choosers, I suppose. Taking them out was actually fairly easy too, all things considered. Gonna sell to this guy as well. This is what I got. Wow, such profit. Okay, that's it. I'm kind of curious. Do you think I could get away with? Hmm. That's very strange. I wonder what triggers it. I wonder if it's like just walking in there or what. It must be the door that does it. Because when I just walk in normally, there's no problem at all. Can't open this without a security rating 4, though. I'm surprised he's letting me just open it, play with his computer. We had the extra gear deployed in your usual storage locker near the apartment. Okay. So. I can't hack this yet. We'll have to come back later for that. Nothing in here to look at at the moment. Hmm. We'll be back, chat. We will be back. There's no way out through there.
Ghost guy's gonna wake up with a massive headache. Sucks to be them, but that's not my problem, is it? storage closet he was talking about was this one security rating five though what a pain from previous playthroughs i know what's in there or at least i know one of the things that's hidden in there a set of pearls so we'll definitely need to get those at the very least let me do this layup damn it nothing but brick he shoots he fails. I'm gonna be playing this mini game for a little bit while I figure out where to go next. Let's aim a little bit lower. Aim right there. Shit. Right around here should be good. So close. I think we can hang of this. Basketball is a fascinating sport. If I get arms and legs again, I need to try it out for real. For realsies. Uh, okay. So close. Line up the line of the basketball up there with the hoop and a little bit too low, too high again. Hmm. Okay, once more, once more, once more, once more, once more. A little bit right there. Too high again? This game is rigged. This game is rigged, chat. Try standing on here. Eliup. Where is the ball actually being shot? Is there? Is it being shot at my at the uh, crosshairs? The invisible crosshairs. It is. So I have to aim where the crosshairs are. The invisible crosshairs. So if I put it right around there, it should go in. Eh, close enough. You know, what's his face did not say much about where he lives. Only that it was in an apartment complex. I'm assuming it's in this gated one. So I checked the other two areas. And the only way I was able to get into those. Was through the fire escapes. But then again. There is one more apartment complex here. That has a gate guard. Oh thank you for the headpads Winter. So we're going to go there first. See what he has to say for himself. Knock him out if I need to. I believe it was over here. Yeah. Oh, this is Detective Chase's building. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case. And the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. 
Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... This was different. This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. And that's my so job. What you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, yeah, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. <laughs> his office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Ah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. <laughs> you said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What, what did, did you mean, mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard. The government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it! Okay, listen. <laughs> I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. Why retire from ah. the force only to become a security guard? Thank you for the hydrate. I mean, it looks like you still you love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cop already full. <laughs> How did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what Just you mean. Just vibe in? To be so honest, I. I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I wasn't honest. Uh, Jensen. I glad it's a three day, to conduct myself three day in weekend. accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. Not really the standard MO for a case like this. Playing some Deus Ex. Kind of wondering if I should have joined the DNF duel uh, tournament tonight, but eh. I would have just bottom tiered anyway. I'm still on defensive if I want to even keep the game or refund it. That's all I need for now. I need to play more FPS games anyway. It's been a while. I know, right? <laughs> but yep, it is the weekend. It is the weekend. You better believe it. The fuck? It's not locked? It's not locked. Hmm, cool. I can never thank you enough for what you did. <laughs> Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Sarah who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit. 
but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in, well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. Hannah got more XP for it, along with You'll remember his name, discount. won't you? Surat, like the painter. Surat, like the painter? I don't know a Surat the painter. But okay. Let's get to it then. Not sure what he could sell me that I need right now, though. Oh, ho, ho. Check this out. So there was another place to explore down here. Delightfully devil devilish Seymour. Where does this lead, I wonder? Ah, uh, I don't have strong enough I do not have strong enough arms to move that one, unfortunately. Nor can I even jump up there, if I even if I wanted to. So it's a moot point. However, oh man, that's some getup you got. What you trying to hide? That's for me to know and for you to not know, my good sir. How to get over here? From over there. Can you just walk around? Hmm. I hope you ain't here looking for trouble, my friend. That would be a mistake you make. Gonna double cross Surat. It looks like. What do we got here? Ooh, baby. Some stun gun bullets, a stun gun, stun gun darts, some lag. Is that it? Not much, huh? And use a stun gun, so we'll not be needing those. Some punks over here. Wonder why they're leaving. Curious. But just like that, we're in another part of the city. I never let T Boss be booking me with no cock. I find him nasty. I think they're kind of cool. Yeah, to me, it's a welcome change to the dirty old men I usually get stuck with. All the ones hopped up on Z. Yeah, at least that no-pose drug the Augs take don't make them all uppity and shit. Cog lovers, huh? <laughs> to each their own, I guess. Cog lovers? <laughs> nah, I don't do no tricks with no Augs, yo. You want to have some fun tonight, sexy? Because I haven't had a cutie like you in a long time. Good thing we're a mature rated stream, am I right? These things are all locked up. Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Jensen, 
My God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. <laughs> I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. You look a little different too, Xander. What's your new gig? Deep cover. I'm keeping tabs on the derelict rowballers for now. I've got to hunt something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Jack O'Asshole. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Hell yeah. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Look at that dude just moonwalking in the background. I know, right? He's what you would call a smooth criminal. Okay. But we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True. But thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me. I usually play by the book. Mm -hmm. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything mm. you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. So everything. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Sounds Which good. Be shit easier to handle on my side. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. O'Malley's crafty and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession. So the contact will send you <laughs> in to pose as his replacement. Nice. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully. But we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Sounds good. 
Sounds good, honey. Okay. Let us continue. I'm still lost in this big city. Adam? You got that neural hub yet? You're asking me to pull off a heist, boss. Inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside. In back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Fair enough. I... I've been out on the streets a long time. Seen a lot of bad shit out here. That serf actually thinks augmentations are gonna help me. Bank of Detroit. Locked very tight. Some beer. I was getting kind of famished. Woo! I can't see shit, Captain. I love Detroit. There's no place like it. What's there to love? Fine dining and entertainment. Augmented people enter from the back. Wow. That's a little bit racist. Well, speciesist. Augmentist? -ist? It's something like that. This guy's playing in the PSP. That's how old this game is. Got the monorail oh, above us. Can't actually believe the purity first of freedom fighters. Not yet. But just wait until the machine men take over. This storage area will not open to me. And this is too heavy to carry. It'd be very convenient if I could get rid of this, though. There's also a manhole here. That's a train station to head to other parts of the town. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Mia Shia Akeem is way prettier than her mother. No, my lord. Got some gangbangers here doing some break dancing. Um, it's like I'm in Atlanta now. Just like that, we're in the other power town already. Feels like we didn't even enter a train. We're actually back where we started. Pit. Went around this huge ass circle. There's Sarah's building that we exited from to begin with. So easy to get lost in here, like I currently am. So at least stop by the limb clinic first. Buy ourselves a practice kit or so. I for one approve of these protests. These limb people are drug pushers. Someone is getting rich while the rest of us are suffering. I would Cutscene. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. 
I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally. Over, Over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take, take a, look. a look. Indeed they are. Typhoon ammo for some reason sold here. I don't know why. But I do sell Praxis kits here, two of them. And for what it's worth, the credits that the game gave me earlier is enough to buy both of them and more so if I find any if I come back here later very well Mr. Jensen use it in good health alright then gonna make a separate save for this one I think but let's go ahead we got three available practices, in fact. I didn't realize. One, two, three. I could actually max out my capture rating now. Very helpful. Now there is nothing in this game that I cannot hack. Whether that will be helpful to me, though? Well, that's a different question altogether. be a while before I can find more practice kits to purchase here. Might need to purchase them elsewhere, actually. I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Anything. It gets done through your IV. I love all the stuff that you can find and read later if you so wish. Do Android dream of electric sheep? Do AI dream of electric memes? These are all good questions, none of which will be answered just yet. History unknown. Adopted at age five with no papers. Super healing. Curry speed being unknown at the time, patient was prefitted with pedo, pedo <laughs> biochips in all areas of possible neuroprosthetic insertion to reduce need for physiotherapy following any subsequent, subse subsequent enhancement surgeries. World Health Organization.
You can tell Vera Marko Dr. Markovic actually cares about you. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. This sounds familiar. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Foreshadowing much? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. They want an excuse to exact martial law and split this country up. Keep it down, pal. People are on the edge right now, and we don't want any more trouble. What will you say when you're kidnapped by a bunch of augmented soldiers and put in a concentration camp? I haven't put much thought into it, okay? Haven't you heard of RDX-84? FEMA is setting up camps oh, right here in Detroit. Yeah, Stevie Y is actually a 600-year-old vampire. Be funny if he actually was. Let us approach. This is just the first step in the plan. What plan? What do we have here? Like a hobo used to live here or something. I'm not seeing anything of worth. Yeah, there's nothing in this one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Some sleeping bags, pizza boxes. Not everything is gonna have items in it. After all, there are just sometimes there are just storage devices. What in the world happened here? I don't have time to chat. Don't get on my nerves, pal. What a mess. Detroit Convention Center. William Taggart. Hmm. I wonder why it's letting me go here already. You serious? You gonna join the derelict roll ballers? You better not go there, man. Unless you wanna get hurt. What's with these guys' problems? I'm surprised. Go there, man. Unless you want to get hurt. I'm kind of surprised that they're hostile towards me. I've never been to the convention center this early in the game. But I do have a boomstick for a reason. And I have many, many tranquilizer darts. Get him! 
Ow, 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 ow. Keep running. No, you ain't leaving. Someone my ow. Yep. I don't know why I got into a fight with those guys just now. Sometimes the walking sim does get a little bit tiresome. But that's part of Deus Ex, baby. Just going around exploring things, hacking things, opening, lockpicking things. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? Thankfully, the game is already no. auto saved. Good. Right now, I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to <sighs> yes, be another yes, entrance yes, on the I side know. of the building. I know, I know, I know. Don't have to tell me twice. I have more stuff to hack, though. If I could just remember where they are. I know one of them's over here. Master Hacker 125. Oh, shit. That's how it's going to be, huh? Looks like the lasers come from that direction. And it looks like crossing them causes noxious gas to come out. There's a way around this, but one will need to figure out how. So when you hit them with the lasers, it actually... I see. I wonder if it's possible to crawl underneath that, though. Just walking in there causes this to happen. It's a good thing I auto-heal. There you go. Have a little bit more view, better view of my monitor. Can you cut the power? That's what I'm thinking too. This is a phone line. I'm almost wondering if maybe I wasn't supposed to hit the lasers and I was supposed to crawl underneath it. Because now I can't go in there without. Without. Hmm. Let's try it. I'm going to remove the box, then I'm going to try and crawl underneath the lasers. Adam! Are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Yeah, it looks a lot simpler than before. Mm 
Access granted. All right. Says I thought you can't go over it, but if you were to hmm. Aha! Looks like you're right, Bud Cramps. Check us out. We can deactivate the lasers. The Adam Jensen is sus. I saw him venting. You saw nothing, Steel. You saw nothing. I might actually have to use my uh, software to defeat this one. Looks like I'll need to go here and I'll need to take out both of these. Access granted. Lead skills, a hundred. I've never seen that before. Inactive. Looks like looks like meat is back on the menu, boys. Check out all this shit. Combat rifles at the asshole. Many tranquilizer darts. A fucking silent sniper. Wait a minute. Isn't this... Oh my god. The game... So you mean to tell me... When you buy the DLC, it gives you... The sniper rifle and the shotgun to begin the game. And a bunch of money. And a bunch of these things. But you could have always bought these things on your own time? At any time? What the hell? Well, now that I know this, I could have just sold the sounds because there's already a sound sniper rifle here and it's going to be here for the rest of the game anyway. I need to make room for other stuff in this, you know? So, since I know this is going to be here, I can just sell my sound sniper rifle and I'll come back here later to pick that up later. Assuming it doesn't, you know, disappear anytime soon. I was also dumb. And I just picked up the sniper rifle ammo, even though I probably should have just kept that there. But yeah, I don't need to keep this around. There's You don't need doubles of these, you know. You just need the one. You can sell the rest. Sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. So, don't really need a sand sniper rifle. Because I already got Wando's. Well, I want is a revolver, actually. Would really love a revolver. See you soon. See you soon. How may I be of service? You sell mods, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you, of course you do. Damage upgrades, a shotgun, and some AUDs for unlocking certain places. I was tempted to spend some of my money on that. That's 1,200. How are you doing tonight, Steel? Always a pleasure. You get more experience, obviously, by hacking everything, of course. So we want to avoid the easy way out, if possible. good to know that I don't really need to keep the sniper rifle around now because I could always just go back here and pick one up when it's time there's two combat rifles here as well don't really need those right now we'll keep those there and we'll keep this silent sniper rifle there as well is there anything else? No, it looks like that's it. Poggers.
All right. Time to hack our way through the things that we were not able to hack earlier. So we'll need to revisit some areas. Do a little bit of backtracking. We do a little backtracking. I dabbed on these haters earlier. That's why they have been laid the fuck out. Am I speaking gang slang correctly now? I'm gonna sell these things. Don't need them. Sell them to, sur to the sewer rat downstairs. Get it? Sewer rat? Sir rat? <laughs> Not this one. Actually, yeah, we'll need to hack that one open, too. This is what I got. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Egghead discount. Huh. What do you know? Everything is cheaper. It, literally, everything is cheaper. What the hell? Even a sniper, a silence rifle, and... That's nice. That's actually really nice. However, you're going to give me some money for my machine pistol and the 10mm pistol. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Still kind of poggers that he doesn't seem to have any problem with me walking in and just hacking the shit out of his safe. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, chat. This is not going to be easy. I don't even know where to begin with this one. So it looks like I have to go this way. Fifteen seconds. Can we make it? I'm hoping the answer is yes, but it's very unlikely. Oh, man. It looks like the answer is yes. We will probably make it. Maybe. Or maybe not. No. We end up having to waste a worm on that one. Access granted. Hell yeah. I had to use my worms, but I managed it. What's in here? A pistol? Uh, a pocket secretary. Interesting. I just finished installing your new deterrent in the storage locker. The system will be up and running in a few minutes. Pretty serious stuff, so be careful. For increased security, I also changed the code to the locker itself. Oh my god. This was to the storage locker that was over there. Oops. And then I sell these stun darts back to him. That I stole from his own safe. Is this the standard pistol? It looks different than usual. Oh, it is. Okay. Don't need that. Take a look. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. What I did was not strictly legal or even moral. Done. Doesn't matter though. What's morality to an AI anyway? <laughs> okay. There's a safe back here too. Mm. 
Access granted. Got another nuke virus and some money. Ooh, an AUD and a pistol. Don't mind if I do. It's a good thing I didn't buy those. A I didn't buy those pistols after all. Keypads, computers, security hubs, alarm panels, and dedicated security terminals. Interesting. And another pistol, which we will sell for more money. Actually, you know, I feel bad. This person clearly has this pistol for self-defense. Hey, look! Another new virus. We will leave you the pistol, my good ma'am. Augmented killing machines? It's a good thing we're not one of those, right, chap? Say it ain't so. Next Praxis in 80. We're getting close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Where's the next? Here it is. Do 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 do. I still can't make the jump until I get some more augments. Man, this one's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Access granted. Awesome. Another practice point received. More credits and more experience. Fairly simple, all things considered. Faucet. Garbage everywhere. Did this person just move in? Hmm. Whose apartment building are we in anyway? Is that a coffee maker? On view. Billboard report with Eliza Kassan. You got anything back here? No. The newspaper here at the bottom or on me. Neuronex. Some cyber boosting powers. Bar. What a messy room. M. Arley. This one should be fairly simple. Yeah, like I said, fairly simple, right? Access granted. Uh huh. Nothing important here.
What a mess, though. Makes you wonder if there is something missing, and I just haven't noticed it. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, it well and truly is just a random person's apartment complex. That seriously, that's all that all that's up here. Hmm. I guess it is. We are not fast enough to make a jump, even though it keeps making me. I keep feeling like I want to try, even though I know I will fail. You have a practice point to spend, but what will we use it on? Remove heavy objects. Or perhaps we want a more better radar system. Perhaps a social enhancer, but this requires two. You don't need fortify. Stealth is always important though. This is also important later. Being able to disable cameras. Faster sprint and gas protection. A typhoon system. Icarus landing, but that requires two. And this allows you to take down two people at once. Makes you immune to concussion grenades. This is cool, actually. Being able to see through walls. Keeps me from dying as quickly. Or I can just cloak. Definitely need cloak later on. You can jump nine feet. Damn. been doing pretty well with for having a hacking stealth one we're gonna hold on to the practice point for now chat i think my work over here is done if i search well enough i'm sure there, i know there are practice points just kind of sitting out in the wild Actually, you know what? I kind of want to be able to move heavy objects. I kind of wonder if you could actually throw, pe throw these things at people. Probably not, though. It'd also be nice to be able to carry more garbage around. 
fairly sure. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. My computer just blue screened. <laughs> I've never seen this error before, though. We'll be back up and running in just a little bit, chat. As far as I can tell, and from checking out the uh, hardware monitor when at the time it happened, it looks like my processor maxed itself out at 100% and pretty much just died, which is unsettling. I hope this doesn't mean that my processor is finally about to give, out to give up the ghost. Because if that is, well, I can't really upgrade this processor anymore, not on this MOBO. I would need to purchase an entirely new MOBO and an entirely new processor altogether. I was kind of afraid that this day would come. I guess it's starting to look likely. But considering that this is the first time blue screen in forever, hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Emphasis on hopefully. I wonder if it overheated too. I'm going to go ahead and set my processor fans to run at 100%. See if that does anything. This definitely also makes my future goal of basically a dual PC streaming uh, more viable. Well, not more viable, but more important. Because if I wanted to keep using this computer with this processor and with these specs... It's quite obvious to me that trying to run VTuber software alongside streaming the game is a no-go. It's just, it's getting too much for the old girl, you know? Or at least running VTuber Plus and VC Face at the same time is burning my computer raw. Good thing I save all the time too. God damn. I hope we're not like uh I hope we're not like corrupt or our soft saves weren't corrupted or anything like that.
If it happened once, there's a possibility it might happen again, unfortunately. So we'll need to figure out a way to deal with this. I'm fairly certain it's a CPU issue because I just looked up what stopwatch what uh, watchdog was and it was because it missed the timing from the processor. As you may or may not know, processors also have a tendency to auto shut down to protect itself if its max reaches a certain temperature. You would think with a liquid cooling system that wouldn't be a problem, but What a nightmare. I didn't expect to see so many of you actually being online too to watch. We're getting back online in just a bit, by the way. Thanks for coming, everyone, in spite of our computer rows. All right, here we go. We're getting back in. <sighs> Why am I so tired today? Why is it not letting me... Come on. Okay. And we're back. Cool. Back in chat. Let's see where it's going to continue from. I've been saving all over the place like a motherfucker, so I hope it continues, you know, from... Where are we? Okay. I think this is where we crashed last time. Now then, let's get down from here, shall we? I remember now. We were going to go ahead and get the ability to move heavy objects. There we go. So now we should be able to move dumpsters like it's nobody's business. That should come in handy. As well, getting past the security gate. Extra XP, thank you. And we walk right in. No one the wiser. This must be Tyndall's apartment building, huh? Go 
I do this sound like? We had to go over there. We did go this way. Maybe difficult, but we'll see what happens. Access granted. Cool. Able to get inside Tindall's computer fairly fast, all things considered. I pushed him hidden behind a fridge. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Looks like the temperature of my CPU is hovering around 60 or so. Processor is not really spiking or anything. Hmm. Weird how it happened the first time, isn't it? Okay. New security gate has been installed and activated. It's 0002. I don't want your money, Mark. It's never about the money. I see you. That was spooky. But I didn't even need to kill him, did I? Funny. Just knocked him out cold. Didn't even think about that one. Hey, Stevie, sorry, man. We just couldn't score as much as last week, and I'm all out. I'm not doing this to you on purpose, trust me. I'm looking out for for extra sources right now, but I didn't get an answer yet. Just don't do anything crazy. It's a bit lucky for- a bit uh, late for that, my man. He's already done something crazy. And has paid the price for it. Now then, what did it say here? What about Corella? Can you score more NP from him? He's getting less and less cooperative. Shit. Didn't you have dirt on him or something? Right, here in my pocket, man, but you can only push a man so far. I'll meet you behind the gas station down the street. Be a hurry. Don't like being out in the open like this. You're the man. Behind the gas station. Got it. I wonder if this is Reaver. Could be worse, I guess. Thanks for the shotgun, my guy. Not sorry about the door, by the way. Or the refrigerator, I should say, not the door. What have we got over here? Is 
This is a fairly weak door. Probably the weakest we've met found so far. Access granted. This is O'Malley's apartment? Dang. That was actually really easy. Nothing in here. Just one? Why stop there? Why not grab all of the incriminating evidence, huh? I'll be confiscating your pistol. See a pocket secretary there. What's it say? You will notice the door on the security lock on it. The code for this lock is 1029. Whenever you receive a special delivery, it will be left for you inside that room. Really? This must be in the police station. Locked door. What a joke. That was actually fairly easy. What the hell? You mean it was... Oh, it's hidden in such a way that it's not immediately invisible. Oh! What the fuck? No. You've got to be shitting me. Mines. I guess it could have been worse. Crossbow arrow bolts, but I don't have a crossbow with me. Really a weak security on his computer. You know, for a cop, this guy is kind of bad at his job, isn't he? Access granted. Well, Sam really fucked up this time. We told him. We told him to keep it cool with that you'd come up with a clean solution, but you know him with his crazy ass temper. Said there wasn't no risk, he was covered and whatnot. Went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard through some personal channels that the local dealer might have witnessed all of it. I'll hit you back once I know who it is and what he knows. This is Big Boss. If they ever get to Sam, you know he'll talk. We'll deal with the situation now. Damn. Someone at FEMA is corrupt. For sure. shotgun he sure has a lot of crap in his room that's for sure Can't take those with me, so I can't sell them. That's unfortunate. What a shame. 
You could probably come back later, though. If I ever find a crossbow to use that on. Ooh, we can move the crates. Is there anything else here we can dig around? as I can tell. Nothing else here. Maybe. I say that it's still a lot easier than I thought it would be. So we need to go to Derelict Row, wherever that is. <coughs> Alright. Where are we, chat? This is a pretty heavy, really secure. Oh, this shouldn't be that bad. Access granted. There we go. Master Hacker, 125. I know, I had to cheat a little bit there. What the hell is this? What have I walked into? This is a lab, chat. I know, what, what the shit? Another one. Lower act rating though. Far lower. Access <laughs> granted. Still empty. Someone has been packing a lot of goods in this. And very low security for a computer. Access granted. Done. I cleaned up the stash in the storage unit and increased security. I've changed the code to three six six three. Yo, Doc, I did my homework and it turns out little Kevin wasn't lying. He, they really are onto our little enterprise. They set up a wire or some shit in the clinic line and both ourselves, so toss it. If they got wind of me tapping to their shit, they're gonna move on the clinic, so it's better if you just grab whatever could link us to us by name and get the hell out of there. Don't get all humanitarian on me now. Just stop whatever you're doing and get the fuck out. 
Hmm. I guess they're booked already. Three six six three. What we got in here? A weapons cabinet? A pistol? Man. These guys are broke as shit. Oh, ho ho. What do we have here? Uh looks like more organs. Some cardboard boxes, nothing important in them. Praxis kit. Hell yeah. That's helpful. Got one practice available. Definitely need to save that now, but it helped a lot to get the uh, move through objects. I think I probably want to get the social enhancer next or something. Talk our way through to victory. You guys got so many of these things, they're like all over the place. They're littering the area. Too bad I can't sell any of this, but then again, it would be illegal goods uh, to be selling. Anything back here that I should know about? No hidden vents can be caught in? Nope. Hmm. What a musty apartment. Outside. The night is dark and full of terror, chat. Can't get shit in Detroit, as they say. have shit in Detroit. So that's where this leads. Well, well, well. I don't think I've ever exited through there before. Feels like I got darker in game as well. Or something. Is my sniper rifle still there? Yep. 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 Hmm. Now my meme is reviewing what we learned so far. Alright, so we need to enter gang territory next. Go to Derelict Row. Wherever the hell that is. 
you are here. Meet with Tyndall. Locate a DMPD storage unit and meet with O'Malley. We're going to have to go to Cloak and Daggers first. Let's go meet with Tyndall since it's closest. I hope I don't need the social enhancer for this. Next practice is in 1055. 555 or so. Looks like my CPU temps are okay. Where are you, Tyndall? There you are. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh, there's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, You're crippling pain. pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two bushers go by the name PG, PG and BK. BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Sure, I can do that. Don't feel like killing them, though. They're just gangbangers. They don't know any better. Oh, do they? Where are these, where are these mofos at? Is this them? Look at you, man. Another sucker who bought a bunch of crap you never that really needed. That is right on. You see a report on something Yo, somebody stop it! Now it's easy. Didn't need to kill them anyway.
What's your pleasure, friend? I'll show you my pleasure. Natalie, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. I don't think my mods are on right now. They're probably asleep, so I'm going to do this myself. So, Natalie plays. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my bot does not tell me what you were playing previously, so you'll need to tell me yourself. Are you having a good night? It's Independence Day weekend here, so I have a long weekend ahead of me. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. We're playing Human Revolution tonight. Just uh, selling some garbage I'm getting from these two gangbangers that I just put down. So far, I've played the game Pacifist. I don't really feel it like killing gangbangers and civilians. But against the PMCs, I have no regrets using lethal weaponry in them. I don't have sound. You can't hear me right now? on my end it shows here that my mic is running and also this audio one second Hello, hello? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. 